Selling a call always helps in handling situations. Foul ball, foul, it sure did. Foul ball right off his foot, right here. This is a very difficult play for an umpire. I didn't react to it right away in this play because I didn't know whether it hit his foot. And really what the determining factor here was the player jumping around. Now I didn't react to it because I didn't know, but now I got a player jumping with his toe looking like he's writhing in pain. That's when I finally called foul ball. A lot of people misinterpret this as he was the one that talked you into it or there was a delay in the call. Well, that's one of the toughest calls that an umpire is going to have, whether it hit his foot, whether it hit his hands or the bat. I'm going to tell umpires to take a second and make sure you get the call right. But I think a lot has to do with it is the ball player's reaction. Sometimes they get hit right in the hand and won't even flinch. And sometimes they won't get hit and they'll give it this and they'll get first base. So you have to be a little bit of an actor and here again comes the trust factor. But as an umpire, you want to delay to make that call to make sure you're making the right call. And if it's a ball player's action that convinces you that it hit him or not, then you have to go with that. Yeah, that's a tough situation. I've been on uh, both sides of that. I've uh, been on the other in the dugouts when the player swings and hits the ball off his foot, and, and all of a sudden he's hopping around, and the ball rolls down to first base, and the umpire at home plate doesn't call it, and, and you get the guy out, and uh, there's no other way to do it except try to get the call right. And a lot of times, and that's the one thing I think umpires really want to do, is they want to make the right call. And so if a guy in that situation may ask for help. Yeah, on the other hand is if you're asking me to check and I know that if the umpire didn't call foul ball what I'm essentially doing from the umpire standpoint is I'm taking that whole argument of you arguing with me about whether the ball and putting it on him and saying now he's gonna come to you and start arguing why didn't you see that you should have saw that that's why we have as an umpire a rule that says that if you see it as a base umpire you come up right away with a foul ball and if you didn't then you're telling the plate umpire that you either A, didn't see it, or B, had the same call as him, so don't bother coming to me or putting it on my shoulder. With umpires, you want to take an extra second delay to make sure you're making the right call. But when it comes down to getting help, be very careful. Because as a base umpire, if you see that ball hit the batter's foot, you should be calling foul ball right there. Besides check swings, there are very few calls that you should get help on. Those include home runs that wrap around a pole or foul line, or any ground rule. Balls that are dropped when your partner was blocked out, and that means only if you feel that your partner was unable to see the drop ball situation. Telling your partner, I have help if you need it, is one way of approaching a partner that doesn't come to you first. And always, always get help on any rule interpretation dispute before you play the game under protest. We advise that an umpire should not carry a rule book on the field. This will delay the game even longer in rule arguments, and in the end, do more harm than if you just blew the call. So, know the rules.